Hello everyone, my name is Kristen Allen and I'm the Outreach Coordinator for the Dixon Gallery. My name is Danielle Sumler and I work with Kristen doing outreach. So at the Dixon, we love art and nature and we love finding new exciting ways that we can combine those two themes. So today we're going to do a really fun project that combine art and nature. But before we get started on the project, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the parts of a flower and then we're going to read a super fun story all about a seed. Okay, everyone. So here is a picture of the Dixon Gallery and Gardens where Miss, Miss Kristen and I work. The Dixon Gallery has lots of beautiful plants and flowers. See these beautiful flowers in the picture? So before we start our story time, I wanted us to go over the parts of a flower. Let's look at those different parts of a flower and see if we can match the correct name to the correct part. So let's start with this part here. See this yellow part on the flower? What is that called? Is it a leaf? Is it a root? A petal? Or a stem? What do you think this yellow part is called? This is called a petal. There we go, we'll put it in the box there. Now let's look at this part here that stands really tall and holds the flower up. Now we know it's not a petal, we've already used that. So is it a leaf? Is it roots? Or is it a stem? This is called stem. Now here's our next one. What is this growing off of the stem? What do you think that would be called? Is this a leaf or is this roots? This one is a leaf. And since we've used all of our other words, we know that these growing out of the ground are called what? It starts with the letter R. These are our roots. Good job, everyone, with our matching game today. Nice work. So now we are ready for our story time. Our story today is all about a seed. Now, why do you think our story is about a seed? What does a seed have to do with a flower? Well, a seed is actually the thing you put in the ground, you bury it in the dirt, and our seed eventually opens up and a flower grows out. So that's why we're learning about a seed. And as we go, maybe we can try to guess what kind of flower we think this seed came from. All right, everyone ready? This story is called The Bad Seed. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble. There goes a bad seed. But I hear them. I have good ears. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. You left that cart in the wrong spot. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. What are these people in the audience doing? Are they sleeping? He put them to sleep with his long stories. I never wash my hands. Can you believe he doesn't wash his hands or his feet? I lie about pointless stuff and I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences. sentences 
and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. What kind of flower did the bad seed come from? What are these flowers? He came from a sunflower. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. Sunflowers have lots and lots of seeds. We found ways of having fun and we were close. But one day, something happened. It's all kind of a blur. I remember a bag. Have you ever seen a bag like this in the grocery store with seeds inside? And everything went dark. He's inside the bag. And then, then a giant. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered, ah, but it was, but I was spit out at the last second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right. I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can and I didn't care. It suited me. Until recently, I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're used to being bad, but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. So look at his face. It's different from before, right? Before he was frowning, but now our seed is smiling. Sure, I still forget to listen. And I still show up late. And I still talk during movies. And I do all kinds of other bad stuff. But I also say thank you. And I say please. And I smile. And I hold doors open for people. Not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not all that bad anymore. I heard that. The end. All right, Miss Danielle, thank you so much for reading that story to us. It's one of my favorites. I think it's so funny. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys how to make our art project. So let's get started. For today's project, you'll need the following supplies. A coffee filter, or if you don't have a coffee filter, you can use just a regular paper towel. You'll need a piece of paper for the background and some washable markers. You'll also need a spray bottle, but if you don't have one of these, you can just use a damp paper towel. Run it under the sink and you're ready to go. You'll also need a glue stick and a pair of scissors. First, I'll be showing you how to use a coffee filter to make your flower. If you don't have a coffee filter, don't worry. Just keep watching and a little bit later, I'll show you how to use a paper towel. With your coffee filter, fold it in half, then fold it in half again, and finally, one more time. This should leave you with a teeny tiny triangle. At this point, you can decide if you want to cut your coffee filter or not. This step is totally optional, but it does give it a more flower shape. So if you want to cut your coffee filter, draw a rainbow shape at the top of the flat edge. Then take your scissors and cut along that line. Next, we're ready to color. You can use as many colors as you want. We're gonna keep our coffee filter folded and we're gonna color the whole thing. Next, I'm gonna show you how to do the same step, but with a paper towel. 
in case you don't have a coffee filter. If you've already done your coffee filter flower, you can skip this step. The first step is to fold your paper towel in half, and then we want to draw a half circle on the paper towel. We're trying to turn it into a circle shape when we open it. After you've drawn your half circle shape, we're going to cut it out. It's really important to cut from the folded side of your paper towel, otherwise your paper towel will split into two pieces when we want it to stay as one. If you've done this step correctly, you should be able to open your paper towel and have a circle shape. It's okay if it's not perfect. After you get your circle shape, we're going to fold it in half, then fold it in half again until we have a triangle. Then fold it in half one more time until you have a teeny tiny triangle. At this point, we're ready to color and we're going to color the whole thing and not leave any white. Just leave your paper towel folded for this step. This next part is the best step. We're going to get our paper towels or coffee filters wet and let the marker bleed and run together. You're going to add water until you start to see the color spread onto the back of your paper towel or coffee filter. This may take a little more water than you think. If you still see white spots, just keep adding water until it's totally colored on the front and the back. If you don't have a spray bottle, you can use a wet paper towel. Just pat it on top of your coffee filter or your paper towel until the color starts to spread. You'll start noticing it come off on your paper towel and that's how you know it's working. Just like before, you want to make sure that the color comes all the way through the back before you finish. So you might need more water than you think. Now you can open up your coffee filter or your paper towel to reveal the beautiful marker underneath. Be really careful, since the paper is wet, it will tear very easily. Set your flower aside to dry. While our flowers are drying, I'm going to create the background for my artwork. I'm going to start by drawing a vase for my flower. You can use any shape you want. Square, circle, triangle, anything can be a vase. Next, I'll decorate it. Next, I'll want to add the parts to my flower. I'm going to add a stem and some leaves. When you're drawing leaves, I like to think of it like a frowny face and a smiley face, and then I color it in. Add any extra details that you like to your artwork. You might even experiment with using construction paper to add color to your background. Once your flower is dry, you can experiment with where you want to place it on the page. It's totally fine for your flower to go off the top of your paper. Once you know where you want to put it, put some glue on the page and press your flower down. And that's it! You've made a beautiful work of art that you can show off to your family and friends. Great job! Thank you all so much for making art with us today. We hope that you had fun during our story time and creating your own artwork. If you're really proud of what you made, you can share it with us on Facebook or Instagram using the hashtag Dixon at Home. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we hope to see you again really soon. Bye!